Hi students, one of the theories that we've been thinking about as we have been approaching different critical frames for looking at literature is the theory of feminism. Now feminist literary theory is a theory that may come to you um, or that you may already be aware of and understand in several different ways. And we did talk about these different understandings of what feminism is or isn't um, in class. And what I was saying in class was that for our purposes, what's important, most important I should say, about feminist literary theory is that it draws our attention to the different the, the differences, the different social expectations um, of men and women and how these expectations play out in literature. Um, as we go through a text like Frankenstein, for example, uh, we might ask ourselves, um, why is it that uh, Victor Frankenstein and Elizabeth, Frank uh, and Elizabeth excuse me, have very different um, paths in their lives when they seem to both be you know, highly intellectual, um, uh, they seem to be very dedicated and driven individuals, um, although in, in different ways. Uh, why is it that their lives play out so differently um, without thinking about maybe the end of their lives for a moment? And as we begin to think about how uh, men and women's lives are represented in texts and how uh, those lives uh, seem to follow different paths, what we become aware of or may become aware of is different social norms. And what social norms are are uh, basic or general ways in which uh, a society um, looks at or understands or appreciates uh, men and women, generally speaking. Now, we're taking a very uh, kind of basic look at feminist literary theory here because because we're simply getting familiar with the concept. But the idea at this stage in the game is to be able to not simply recognize that society values men and women differently and that these valuations are represented differently uh, or represented I should say uh, in literary texts but it's 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 to be able to say okay what can an understanding of these conventions tell me about the novel how can it help me understand the novel in, in different or better ways for example one way to look at let's take a, a novel like Jane Eyre uh, is simply to look at it as a story that has a plot that follows the adventures of this particular character, Jane Eyre, as she goes through her life and has all of these encounters with different individuals. Now that's a very you know basic way to look at the novel. We might make a similar claim about Robinson Crusoe uh, or Frankenstein. These are just stories that follow the adventures of these particular characters over a period of time. Well another way to look at it is to think about how uh, the character's gender um, impacts what happens happens to them as they go through their life. That is to say, are there certain things that happen to Frankenstein or that happen to Jane Eyre or that happen to Robinson Crusoe that are more likely to happen to these individuals because of their gender? And I think most of us would agree the answer is almost certainly yes. Uh, there are many things that one might uh, say or conclude about any of these novels uh, that would relate directly to uh, a character's gender um, and what their social expectations of them are um, or may be because of their gender. And as we start to think about this, we start to think about how men and women are represented during specific time periods, and that's very important as well. So as we're becoming comfortable with this concept, um, and, and I, certainly I'm sure these are issues you've addressed in, in, in other ways before, but as we become aware that this is a specific framework through which we can engage a text, it opens up new doors and new, 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 new ways of communicating or talking about or thinking about the novel uh, that might help us understand it in new or different and hopefully better ways. So we've thought a little bit about psychoanalysis and we've thought a little bit about feminist uh, literary theory. Um, and when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit, uh, because these are very, very wide-ranging topics. But as long as you have a basic understanding of what these topics are and how they can help us understand a novel, um, we will become, I think, uh, better readers uh, and better writers and hopefully better critical thinkers. So that's where we are right now, and I will see you soon.